coming 1 plus r i'll share my thoughts on uh, finance research my thoughts uh, to the extent which feels rational for me out of my experience my experiences my observations and so on. so i have tried my level best to blend rationality and also facts into this session because finance research is facing some issues especially among developing nations because of the lesser interest the meager number of people who are coming for finance research and so on we will discuss these points later so today's session a today's session i think the slide is changed right to the second slide what do you see now yeah yes sir it's second slide okay. yeah yeah let me give you the scope of the session today uh, first of all uh, i would give some input on what about uh, the global finance research how can you gauge global finance research what are the parameters for gauging it then we will look into the finance research in the indian context then we will uh, discuss some points on the research areas in finance then i'll give a, a small start as some of the steps initial steps in finance research and when you indulge into the finance research you may come across with economic models economic models i call because that models are specified for measuring something that is why economic it doesn't mean that something related to uh macroeconomic or microeconomic variables no it is related to even in your hr you can have economic models for measuring something so the economic model and that model when you convert for measurement uh, it becomes econometric model so economic model and econometric model we will uh, see with with one or two examples then we will discuss the barriers to finance research in the context of developing nations then uh, a road map to finance research especially in the developing nations context and i'll make my i'll make my con concluding remarks so this is the this is the order in which we would be discussing uh, the the entire uh, the entire session a road map for uh, finance research 
So I have given here uh, a number of theories. Sometimes you may be finding it difficult to read all of them. My intention from your part is not to read all these, but what I am trying to tell you, these are some of the theories in finance. So uh, what I am trying to convince you here is, uh, if you want to gauge or assess a domain, uh, like finance or economics or physics or chemistry or HR operations, whatever it may be, uh, how do you gauge? Uh, you will gauge uh, those domains depending on the, the, the theories, the theories available with that domain. I am not claiming that each and every domain is equally flooded with theories. No. There are, there are domains wherein a lot of theories are there, but there are domains wherein the researchers are researchers a little bit lower. And therefore, the theories, the magnitude, the number of theories are lower. But if you Consider if you take finance, the finance uh, field or domain is flooded with large number of theories. So how can you gauge if large number of theories are there? How can you say that the 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 domain is rich in terms of quantity and quality. Sometimes if more number of theories are there, okay, the magnitude may be higher, but how can you say that? Uh, yeah. How can you say about it or gauge about the quality of that? So if you take the finance, uh, of, uh, finance domain, the theories, the most familiar are with regard to capital structure. Everybody uh, may be knowing about it. And the theories in the stock market, the theories regarding stock market behavior, everybody is knowing. It is more popular and more familiar to us. So if you, if you consider those theories, the theories are actually, what exactly theories are telling you? Theories are the net costs to understand the world around you. If it is related to finance, the world around you in finance, related to finance, you will be capturing through theories. For example, the capital structure theories, which speaks about the two financial variables, one leverage ratio and the other one market price per share, which explains the relationship between the, the theory, the capital structure theories are primarily explaining the relationship between these two variables or two or three variables. So theories are explaining theories are explaining the relationship between variables. So it is through theories we understand, we conceive each domain. Each domain we understand through the, the finance domain or whatever be the domain, we would be understanding each domain the world around all the domains together you can call the, the the entire universe or world we capture using or with the help of these theories because theories are explaining the relationship between variables so if you look into uh, the finance domain as i said there are a lot of theories and no financial variable is left untouched by these theories. So to that extent, 
you can gauge the global finance research, uh, global finance research or the global finance domain through research is rich in theories, no doubt, because it has been acknowledged by experts. I'll tell you, it has been acknowledged by experts. No dearth of theories. So one of the parameters, one of the parameters for for gauging the global finance research is this: uh, the the volume and also the quality. How can we talk about the quality of the theories? You listen, if you take uh, the Financial Times 50 journals, top 50 journals, top 50 journals. Okay, you can, uh, journals in finance and accounting, you can see that 12 journals are, out of the 50, 12 journals are in the domain, including Journal of Finance, Journal of uh, Financial Economics, uh, these are all, uh, the, the, the 12 journals are uh, out of the top 50 Financial Times journals, uh, 12, uh, 12 journals are in finance and accounting. This is the top 50, the, the list of top 50 journals is a quality aspect. It's, it is a quality aspect, otherwise you won't call it top 50. So out of the top top fifty, which uh, which have listed uh, nearly ten domains, journals coming from nearly eight to ten domains, we could see there. Out of that domains, a twelve out of the fifty is from uh, is from finance and accounting. So uh, it, it is a quality parameter. And if you take the ABDC list of Australian business. Dean's Council list of journals. They publish, uh, they publish uh, in the domain finance, business and taxation law, economics, hello, sir. Hello. This one, right? Hello? Yeah, this one. Uh, this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, sorry for the interruption. So I'm talking about uh, the, how can you, uh, the, the first uh, point which I would like to uh, convince you about uh, the, the, the magnitude of uh, finance research global, uh, globally, what exactly the ma magnitude of uh, this finance uh, research. You have completed uh, this theory and you started, so shall I interfere? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you yes. Finished this thing and uh, you started the next next slide. That means the ABDC index also, and you explain yeah. the uh, this yeah. uh, this slide also. You have finished. So uh, yeah, previous slide, okay, previous slide. This one. Pre previous, previous. Uh, this one. This one uh, was the last slide. Yeah, this one. Uh, okay. So what I am trying to tell you. Uh, how can you gauge? Uh, how can you gauge global finance uh, research? How can you conceive or, or what exactly the, the quantity and quality of uh, this finance research? You can, uh, in terms of the, these, in terms of the number of theories uh, which which uh, explain the relationship uh, among the financial variables and uh, the place where or, or the journals where it appears and what exactly the, the, the size of or the number of dissemination platform available for uh, these uh, finance research. Uh, that is what we were discussing. So in this ABDC list, uh, which uh, has uh, a rating A star A, B and C, uh, it has uh, already listed, uh, already given a source list of 2,682 journals. And out of this uh, sizable number of or considerable number of journals are from the domain of, of finance and accounting. 
And if you uh, if you look into the Scopus source list 2019, uh, nearly 40,000 uh, Scopus indexed journals are there. And out of that 40,000, 1,252 journals are from um, the do domain of economics, ec uh, econometrics, and uh, finance. That is also a good number. So uh, if you take all these parameters, all these parameters are primarily two parameters, the number of theories which establishes the relationship between financial variables and the, the platform available for dissemination of the platform available for dissemination of those research results and the peer reviews available for dissemination of these results. Uh, that is uh, that is something uh, the, the, the indicator of uh, the global uh, finance research. So uh, how the people who are or the experts uh, who are who have serious deliberations in the uh, in the field, especially in the uh, financial economic field, uh, how do they view uh, this finance research in its in its entirety? This is a this is a best example. Uh, this Michael Jensen, an American economist uh, who is uh, in HBS, Harvard Business School, uh, he once opined, uh, there is no other proposition in economics which has more empirical support than efficient market hypothesis by Eugene Farmer. So what does this convey? Uh, this is uh, an opinion of a, a popular economist and what does this convey? This is this can be taken as an acknowledgement in the sense that uh, he was talking about the empirical research in finance, which which has been uh, carried out by uh, carried out by you know, finance researchers globally uh, to test this efficient market hypothesis. Okay, and uh, his uh, initial work. Uh, efficient market capital, uh, efficient capital market a review of theory and empirical work, the 1970 work by Pharma. It has uh, 33,523 citations in Google Scholar. The, 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 uh, the previous work, uh, the behavior of stock market prices, it appeared in Journal of uh, Business. It has 13,634 citations. Okay, so like that, if you look into, I have just cited the market efficiency, long-term returns and behavioral finance, the uh, more uh, latest work, uh, it, it was in 1998, it appeared in Journal of Financial Economics, Journal of Finance and Journal of Financial Economics, you don't, you don't forget, um, two, two very, very important quality journals in finance. So uh, these four works altogether have citations near uh, passing 50,000. So what does this mean? Uh, th th this, uh, th uh, th the theories available in the field of finance have been empirically tested by researchers all over the world. So if that is an indicator, the global finance research uh, is rich, you must say, in terms of these uh, these uh, parameters, the global finance research, you can come to a, a conclusion, a rational conclusion that uh, it is rich in terms of theories, it is rich in terms of platforms for, uh, I am telling you uh, the importance of uh, a publication platform because uh, recently uh, our, uh, this Covaxin has come up with uh, the Bharat Biotech company when it uh, came up with uh, a claim that uh, the, the Covax uh, has 81% plus the efficacy rate. I did see one, one panel discussion in NDTV, and one of the one of the uh, panelists were raising a question. Okay, whether this is the claim of the company, the 81% efficacy is a claim of the company. What about the peer review? Whether it has been peer reviewed by experts, uh, and whether it has been up appeared as a, a, a publishing, a published one anywhere else. So that is what is the importance. Once you have a research and when it gets peer reviewed and be published in terms of 
uh, black and white uh, or published in, in, in a platform of a, um, a credible platform that is what is a quality indicator so the publication platform is very important so you can assess uh, a, a domain the growth of a domain uh, the magnitude of a domain the quality of a domain in in terms of this so if you if you consider these parameters and try to uh, assess the global finance finance research to uh, to the extent i feel i would say it it is rich in all these terms but uh, if you look into uh, the, the contributions in the, the contributions in the in the field of finance you could see that it is highly skewed uh, towards uh, towards us and other western nations western nations it is not so in the case of uh, finance. It, it, it not only in the case of finance in all other uh, domains. Uh, this is quite natural. Even Nobel laureates who have uh, uh, who have come up with some form of uh, some form of uh, comments that the 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 East or uh, uh, Asian nations or people from Asian nations are not not competent. Contribute fundamentally to a, a domain. That kind of criticism has come. I'm not uh, taking that into uh, consideration, but what I'm trying to tell you, uh, it is quite natural. It is because uh, there are a number of factors which uh, which uh, tells you about uh, the growth of research in those uh, nations. So here we could see, uh, if I take uh, my, my views on it, I can tell you that the skewness is more in the case of finance, finance research. It is more in the case of finance research. And uh, I, I was thinking, what exactly a relief for a, a relief? Do we have somebody else to project? Do we have somebody else to project in the field of finance? Okay, many people are no doubt, many, many, even in, in many of our national institutes and other institutes which are related, uh, related to finance, uh, they are doing well, uh, no doubt. We people are also doing well, no doubt. But to the stature of a Nobel laureate or to the stature of a, 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 a list of uh, people uh, which can be considered as the top 100 uh, that if it if we take a list of the top uh, top 100 people in finance experts in finance whether one could appear uh, from india in that list that is a, a fundamental question so uh, I was just uh, looking into the Nobel laureate list. So uh, normally uh, we will come across with uh, two names. One, Professor Abhid, Abhijit Banerjee, uh, whose Nobel uh, has been given the Nobel, uh, Nobel Prize in 2019. He is, he was, he's from Mumbai with US citizenship. And he's into the development economics and social economics. And Professor Amartya Sen, Nobel Laureate in 1998, he is also into welfare and social economics. So uh, uh, even though uh, to, uh, to the, the entire economics, uh, financial economics is part of economics, it's branch of economics that I agree. But still, uh, those two Nobel laureates, they were deliberating uh, seriously on uh, development economics and social economics. But their, their touch in the financial economics is almost nil or meager. So in that sense, or in that uh, in that uh, indicator, or in that sense, we cannot claim uh, something uh, to the field of uh, financial economics from them. But uh, I'm giving you a, a name which is uh, more discussed in in the finance field, and also. Uh, we are more familiar to Professor uh, Raghuram Rajan. He was uh, governor of the Reserve Bank of India. Okay, he has his PhD with the doctoral advice of Professor Myers. 
a professor of financial economics who popularized the picking out theory. So we can, uh, you, you think about Professor Rajan who got uh, the, uh, the uh, opportunity to do uh, his PhD with uh, one, of the, one of the contributors which I listed uh, in the second slide uh, who contributed uh, or who popularized better, uh, I would say, uh, who popularized uh, the, uh, the picking order theory. And uh, under him, uh, Professor Raghuram Reg Rajan uh, took his PhD. And he has been given this recognition because in how do we project or how do we uh, how, do, how can we uh, say that uh, we have uh, our own contribution or Indian contribution? I'm talking of not uh, not only about India, but I'm talking about the Asia in general. Uh, what about the contribution? Uh, at, at a global level um, by our financial econo economists. So here, this is a recognition he has been given Fisher Black Prize uh, by the American Finance Association to the financial economist who has made um, a significant contribution to the theory uh, and practice of finance. This is a recognition, sure. This is a but this is a good one. Okay, how many of um, uh, how many people or how many financial economists from uh, the the uh, Asian nations are give, uh, have been given with this kind of recognition or are able to uh, grab this kind of recognition is is a big question. Okay, his popular work. I don't know. Uh, uh, I, I would say that you could see a number of people who have done capital structure theories as part of their, uh, who have taken care of capital structure theories and they have uh, brought uh, what are the determinants of uh, this dedicated ratio and also what exactly the relationship between the leverage ratio and the market price per share. Many have, many researchers, uh, even those who have joined here for this web webinar have done on this. But the, a question here is, uh, did you go through this, uh, this, this work of Professor Raghuram Rajan, which has received nearly 10,000 citations, nearly 9,671 citations? It is, what do we know about capital structure, some evidences from international data? This is all about uh, the, the determinants of the capital structure. So this name, uh, I'm not uh, putting up this as a, all claim, but there are there are uh, experts who have serious deliberations, even though a few in number. Uh, but I'm not uh, I'm not neglecting the research happening in the uh, uh, Institute of National Importance or a uh, national institute and other state institute in the domain of finance. But still, I am telling I, 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 I am I am taking a stature wherein the contributions which will give a recognition at the global level. Uh, who could contribute? This Professor Raghuram Rajan, he could. He could even uh, even predict uh, the global financial crisis in 2005 or six, and uh, he did receive during that time when he was predicted about uh, the the, uh, the, the uh, vulnerabilities in the in the field of finance. Many people uh, try to uh, try to put many blames on him. Uh, about his comments, but 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 later, within a span of one or two years, uh, the things have uh, materialized. What he uh, spoke or opined was uh, came true. So that kind of a uh, speech, uh, what I am telling. Then Professor uh, Virala Jaria, uh, he has his three famous work: asset pricing with liquidity, risk. Measuring systematic risks uh, is cash negative debt a hedging approach. Uh, this has received reasonable number of citations. Uh, Professor uh, Viral Ajaria is also a, a, a global a, a global icon uh, in the field of finance from uh, India. Then one name which is very important because I have given a URL here. You can visit the, this, uh, the, the website. I mean, uh, this um, bio, uh, bio uh, web of this uh, Ashwat Damodar, Damodaran. Uh, it is very interesting. You must uh, visit uh, that one. Okay, he's professor of finance at Stain Business School. 
Now he teaches corporate finance and valuation uh, for this MBA program. And uh, he received MBA from this university and the details are there. But uh, the very important uh, thing is his research papers have appeared or published in Journal of Financial and Quantitative Analysis, Journal of Finance. Journal of Finance is where um, the, the, uh, the Eugene Farmers uh, 1970 paper appeared in Journal of Finance. Uh, the uh, the Markowitz modern portfolio theory, it appeared in Journal of Finance. So you think about Journal of Finance and Journal of Financial Economics uh, is, is uh, uh, in the field of, in the domain of finance, uh, it is uh, it is highly qualitative work. So if you look for a publication in Journal of Finance and Journal of Financial Economics, it is, uh, it is worth, but uh, um, how can we do it? And uh, he, in his bio uh, website, uh, you could see that, though I am sure that uh, he, he claims that my, my research papers have appeared in these quality journals, but I'm sure that the list of people who have read these articles is a short one. So uh, it, it, it is his views. Okay, even though uh, serious uh, deliberations in the field of finance have been done, the number of people going through it is, is, is small or, or short. That is what is uh, his opinion about uh, his research in finance. So I have given uh, the uh, three names to indicate, uh, the, uh, to give some picture about uh, the, uh, our Indian, uh, Indian hand in a global research through these three people and their contribution. So uh, let me come to, uh, when you think about research in finance, uh, what are uh, the, uh, the, the, the primary areas where you can, uh, uh, you can think about the finance research or finance research is happening? Primarily it is happening in the field of corporate finance. Uh, corporate finance means we, we will talk about the three decisions, uh, the, the financing decision, the investment decision, the dividend decision, and uh, these are are uh, the, the, the uh, decisions which are the areas connected to uh, corporate finance. So uh, the investment, these, this, how the, the different financial variables when it comes to uh, the financing decision, it may be the leverage ratio, it may be the cost of capital, and all these financial variables involved in these decisions are how they are interrelated, how they are interrelated uh, is the crux of um, uh, the area of the crux of the financing uh, decision in corporate finance. And when you take the dividend decision, you will be establishing what exactly the relationship between the, the, the dividend payout and the market price per share. So when we teach, um, we, we will explain all this, but uh, whether we would be giving a spark to those who are in front of us with the empirical aspects or uh, the, the testing of the these aspects um, as part of your research, we won't speak about that. That part we will uh, deal uh, later. What I uh, now, what I am trying to con convince you, this is what, what the the uh, uh, the areas, the sub areas or subtopics involved in corporation finance. And when you take international finance, uh, you will be uh, most of the time you will be dealing with the foreign direct investments, exchange rates, and so on. And in the case of financial market, you will be you will be de uh, dealing with uh, the different uh, the different the strategies, the, the behavior of stock prices, uh, the, the behavior of bond prices, the strategies uh, in uh, the anomalies in the stock market and bond market, and so on would be uh, would be uh, the, uh, the the research research problems with regard to the finance. The fi financial, uh, in the case of financial intermediation, 
also uh, we would you would be dis dis discussing with the system and instruments for channelization of money from from the surplus unit to the deficit units and also the influence of psychology uh, on the behavior of investors the uh, irrationality or the bias associated with investing investment are dealt with in behavioral finance and we will also have uh, deliberations on empirical investment and also theoretical uh, asset pricing uh, we, uh, we we do discuss uh, the, the capm capital asset pricing model uh, and uh, you can you can show about the, the, the dynamism uh, in the field of finance uh, by giving the best example of this uh, asset pricing models uh, first uh, the single factor model capm we will discuss uh, which uh, which is uh, risk free rate plus uh, the standard deviation uh, sorry the beta times of the excess return uh, the uh, return um, over and above the risk free return that is the expected return from uh, an asset uh, from an asset that is what is the crux of this uh, single factor model or capm and then uh, I, 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 you just think about uh, pharma has come up with a three factor model uh, which computes uh, the, the expected return car had, uh, has come up with the four factor model again pharma uh, and french came came up with the five factor model so this uh, this is uh, the dynamism what i uh, what i was telling uh, in the beginning uh, how can you how can you gauge a domain uh, uh, so globally if you see uh, this domain is, is highly dynamic because uh, the, the, uh, this is an example so asset pricing we have started with a uh, single factor and uh, now we, we do have the, the, the experts in the field have contributed even five factor model which will beautifully explain uh, the excess return with regard to an asset or you can compare uh, the, the expected return from an asset with that. All these are coming under the umbrella of financial economics because it, 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 it takes care of the interrelation of financial variables such as prices, interest rates, shares, etc. All these, uh, all these, what I said with regard to the, the scope of finance, research in finance, it uh, deals with the, uh, the, the total the total area you could you could uh, put in one compartment and you you you, you must call it uh, financial uh, economics financial economics when you deal with this you must have the courage to say that it, it is it is exactly the scope of financial economics is uh, is this one what i have given on the left side it doesn't mean that only this one uh, only what have been uh, listed there as a financial economics you can uh, i have just given uh, some of the important uh, areas where, where um, uh, under the umbrella of this financial economics and uh, it must be very careful there are uh, some uh, wrong claims by researchers nowadays it is wrong some, suppose somebody else uh, some uh, some researchers may claim that they have taken or they have pursued uh, the perception on uh, on some financial variable sometimes because uh, uh, what i am telling you uh, i had a discussion with one uh, one researcher who was perceiving uh, on uh, his research on GST. And he was claiming that uh, I'm doing research in finance. And what exactly he was doing, uh, he is taking the perception of the traders uh, about, uh, about filing of the returns, about uh, some other intricacies involved in, in this. Um, I do doubt, uh, can it be considered as a, a, a research in finance simply if you pursue uh, the perception of something a research in finance should address uh, i would say strongly a research in finance uh, or if something uh, a, a serious deliberation uh, if you if you could call it as research in finance it should address the interrelationship between at least two financial variables at least two financial variables otherwise i don't know how can we consider a, a, a task okay simply if you take uh, the, the the perception of, of uh, something uh, 
perception of, of, of about something on something uh, or some even though it is a financial variable how that claim works i don't know but simply you must try to understand the financial variables when the financial variables are taken care of and their economic measurement is happening in your research you can claim your research as uh, your research as a research in finance yes uh, so how does an empirical research uh, how does an empirical research in finance be structured okay this is uh, the, the, this is not uh, something new uh, it, it, it is everybody knows uh, you have to you have to have a careful formulation of a question of interest you must have a research question and what does that research question the question must deal with testing certain aspects of a theory what i am trying to tell you research is a journey from known to unknown so i i have told you it is through theories you understand you understand the world around you whether it is finance whether it is economics whether it is operations production whatever in physics chemistry you would be knowing all these from from the theory theory doesn't mean that something labeled as theory theories are those which establishes or which established a relationship between variables so if you consider research as a journey from known to unknown uh, what is known what is known is theory so you must start from theory you must start from theory and uh, or it must pertain to testing it you uh, the theory means there you will be handling theory led variables what i am telling you if you choose a theory and you try to test it you would be dealing with the theory led variables but uh, what i am telling you you can go uh, or you can pursue or you can uh, proceed with your research with with common sense variables no problem common sense variables but you must give a link if you start with a theory and theory led variables are tested again you would be either validating the theory or you will be refuting the theory uh, and if you start, then there is a, a forward linkage is there either you refute or you uh, either you re refute or you validate the same thing no problem with evidences it, it, it is a forward linkage what i am telling you you would be having a backward linkage in the sense that you can start with common sense variables and finally those common sense variables as proxy as proxies you can give a backward linkage to the theory start with common sense variables sometimes you may not be connecting them to the theory and finally you have to connect it to some theories by having a backward linkage otherwise i don't know how can how can somebody pr review your because uh, was, uh, if somebody is pr reviewing your uh, your uh, research uh, research output for publication or whatever it is, maybe uh, they they have a strong body of knowledge through theories so they have to relate things with uh, those theories so if you have common sense variables no problem but finally you have a task to relate it with a theory otherwise uh, how meaningful it would be a big question so the, if you if you take theories in finance uh, you can see that the theories in finance explains you can uh, say it explain relationship between of financial variables and as i said in the beginning it is through theories you understand the financial world around you so i have listed i have listed uh, some uh, those who are doing in stock market investment you must first go through the theories i have just listed some of them uh, so you have to because this theories will, will will tell you relationship between variables you can start your research you or you need to start your research from these theories from these theories because it already explains relationship it, it is explaining the relationship between financial variables and that will that will give a, a, an eye a eye for a journey from this known uh, to to uh, something something uh, further what you try to add to the existing body of knowledge or existing theory so uh, i'm not detailing i'm not detailing each and every one 
so uh, what i am uh, what i am trying to tell you empirical research in finance it can be used for testing a theory or it can be used for estimating some relationship estimating some relationship as i said uh, you can have some common sense variables rationally chosen and you want to test and you strongly believe that there is some relationship okay finally when you take the numerical numbers um, each numerical number is uh, whether it is just relating to one variable and another variable th these numerical numbers may have some relation it doesn't mean that the variable uh, bytes uh, in essence are related no never so if you want to estimate some relationship mm. this uh, the fine using financial data and uh, the the, the uh, common sense variables chosen by you can be tested or you can test the theory led variables those, those research you can call as empirical research in finance so empirical research in finance uh, in in a nutshell mean it, it it involves a testing of a theory using the financial data or it is uh, trying to estimate some relationship between variables some relationship between variables means the common sense variable which is rationally chosen which could be justified by the researcher and ultimately he is trying to have a backward linkage to the existing theory that alone can be called an empirical research in finance so if you ask me what exactly the first step for finance research normally we all will say that it must begin normally i would say that it must begin with a big from a formal theory a formal theory and informal theory can be there informal theory it means that if you if you come up with a a relationship which is not supported by a theory you can call it an informal theory you can call it an informal theory you can go for its empirical examination no problem but ultimately simply some numerical numbers are related you cannot claim that by its in, in its essence these uh, the, these two variables are related that is a big um, a flow with regard to this the common sense variables so this research in finance uh, I, i would say it, it, it most of the time begins with theory because research is journey from known to unknown over the theory will tell you what exactly so far no so uh, theories moreover uh, theories are uh, theories are considered as scientific knowledge because um, it, it it allows or it is subject to falsification or it admits a falsification it means it can be refuted with your empirical evidences or you can come you, uh, you can come up with as i said earlier um, a, a informal a, a informal theory or you can come up with common sense variables to test to test and finally you can add uh, to the existing body of uh, knowledge uh, one condition is there you must have a linkage to one of the existing theories otherwise there is a big question mark there uh, how uh, how uh, especially as far as a peer reviewing person is concerned uh, how do he relate it with the existing body of knowledge that is a big question so when you go for publication in in finance or wherever it may be you must be very careful a strong theory basis a theory what i mean is as, uh, the existing what exactly the existing body of knowledge has to uh, existing body of knowledge is housing that is what is um, uh, the theory it doesn't mean that something to be labeled um, or, Or, or the nomenclature theory would be uh, the theory in inverted comma would be there no it means that the so already established a relationship a theory basis essential for a quality publication so whenever you come up with an empirical uh, uh, result or empir empirical study uh, output and if you have to get it published uh, quite normal quite normal uh, the journals which i explained uh, which i listed in the previous slide uh, it, uh, it is 
uh, those journals are uh, high end journals even you have to look for b rated or c rated journals this theory basis because it is you have to oh, have a journey from known to unknown so this theory basis very very important okay yes so when you when you have a research uh, question with financial variables to be tested you have to have an economic model for that you have to have an economic model for that. So this can be considered as another step for this one. You have to start your research choosing some theory. Okay, you can go for empirical testing. That's what I am telling you. And when you go for um, a testing, you have to have an economic model for that. So I have just given an example here. Uh, it, it may be familiar to you, familiar to most of you. Okay, so I am examining, uh, or, or I, I am, I want to uh, examine the determinants of capital structure. CS means capital structure. So I have to examine the determinants of, or I have to find or identify the determinants of capital structure. So my economic variable is, my, sorry, my economic model. I am constructing an economic. Uh, model for this one it's simple nothing okay why why is the leverage why is a capital structure okay debt equity ratio leverage ratio okay why is equal is, is a function of x1 x2 x3 x4 when you write up the exact variables there when you write up the exact variables there it, it would look like a, a model for an economic model for uh, estimating uh, or economic model for um, examining or identifying the factors uh, the determinants of capital structure x1 is profitability x2 is tangibility x3 is liquidity x4 is growth x5 is uh, size of the firm x6 uh, is dividend x7 these are theory led or previous empirical studies led variables that is what is theory theory doesn't mean that only those which have been labeled by theory what is what exactly the existing body houses uh, that is theory that is theory when you find something you will be adding to the theory theory it means that this the body of knowledge okay in that sense you take so you can call these uh, these are theory led variables okay i um, suppose you are choosing theory these three theory led variables and you have written uh, this uh, this leverage as a function of seven variables you can call it uh, or when you come up with your research you have to specify your economic model economic doesn't mean that it is a measurement model that is why uh, that is what it doesn't mean that the variables here are, are macroeconomic or microeconomic variable no it it means that it is it, it is something for measurement you you have written here as and from this for your research you have to come up with you have to come up with an econometric model after after you specify your economic model which will specify the uh, the, the uh, independent and the independent variables then you have to go for an econometric model which specifies which specifies uh, the measurement. It means that all the variables there, all the variables in the economic model, you would be rephrasing into, rephrasing into, yes, into, uh, into variables which could directly capture, which could directly capture the data for it. Okay, so the econometrics uh, from uh, the term econometrics, we would be uh, we, we would be understanding econometrics. Uh, it, it it is all about the um, economic measurement. It is all about economic measurement. So it provides uh, since it is uh, economic measurement, it provides uh, estimates. We would say that it provides estimates for examining or, or for the economical or, or the relationship between financial variables i have told you the financial uh, financial uh, finance research is examining the, the interrelationship of variables or the influence of one variable on other so this econometrics will provide you the mechanism uh, will provide you uh, the uh, 
um, the, uh, the the tools for estimating those uh, relationship. It's simple. Uh, what I am telling you is about regression. Okay, fundamentally. Uh, so um, uh, this economic 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 model, the economic model may contain uh, what uh, would be there, and that it, it cannot be directly observed. Some of those variables cannot be directly observed. So you will add up proxies in the economic econometric model. So what I am telling you in the econometric model, the direct uh, the the uh, the, the the variables which could directly capture what exactly you want to capture will be included uh, in the econometric model because it, it, it is it, it's it, it conveys what exactly the esti uh, what exactly to be estimated you can see here the econometric model for determinants of capital structure i have written here uh, there in the economic model it was leverage when you read theories, uh, you will come up with uh, you will come up with your uh, your dependent variable and the independent variable, which will explain um, uh, the the relationship between them. Uh, so you will be you will be coming up with the, the names of those variables. When you write it as a function, you can call it an economic model, and you have to convert it into the econometric model. Uh, for uh, here, the economic trick model for determinants of capital structure is there. So, debt to equity ratio is a measure of is a measure of leverage. And uh, now I have given uh, the estimates as betas there. Okay, these intricacies we will not be discussing. Uh, so the first one uh, is uh, the first one is uh, the profitability. The profitability. Uh, how do you capture the profitability? It is earnings after tax divided by total asset will give you the numerical number which capture the profitability. And the second one is total fixed asset divided by total assets. So that numerical number that will capture that will capture uh, the, uh, the 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 second uh, the, the tangibility aspect of the total fixed asset divided by uh, total asset will give you the tangibility uh, variable included in the uh, in the economic model. So the next one, uh, the CL divided by uh, CA divided by CL, the current assets divided by current liabilities, that will capture the liquidity aspects. The, the, the growth aspect will be taken care of by the change in sales divided by base sales, the growth rate in sales. Okay, that growth rate uh, is the is. is is the variable included in the uh, in the uh, econometric model? Okay, so uh, log, uh, log of uh, total assets is taken as, as log of total assets. Oh, okay, it, it is taken uh, to represent the size of the firm to represent the, and dividend payout ratio. Yeah, is uh, the the dividend payout of the uh, uh, in the case of the companies will be taken care of by this dividend per share divided by EPS out of e, mm, some EPS how much dividend is paid per share. So this is a way you could express your your econometric model. Uh, you conceive or you will be formulating an economic model uh, from the theory from the theory and then when you go for estimation you have to convert those economic models into econometric model uh, for for estimation and in that model when you study more about economics or you will be knowing uh, the unobserved factors or the error term would also be uh, included in the estimation equation uh, those things are uh, out of the purview of today's discussion. Okay, so this is so you have to uh, start from a theory. You have to make an economic model, convert it into economic uh, econometric model. Then you go for uh, collect uh, collect your data, go for estimation uh, of the relationship between the variables, and come up with you. You have to uh, relate it with uh, the the already established uh, outcomes, and you have to agree or disagree, falsify or refute, uh, or you will be adding something new uh, to the existing body of knowledge or finance. Okay, so this is. So uh, finally, I would, we will be discussing about the barriers to uh, finance research in, in the context of uh, developing nations. One is 
uh, the lack of interest among the researchers. This interest aspect is a, um, a very important um, ingredient for the uh, development of finance research. What I would be, um, what I uh, mean here is, uh, suppose um, those who are uh, undergraduating or those who are uh, in at their post graduation levels, uh, even teachers. Uh, we people have an example. Uh, take, we would be discussing them with these theories, but we will never touch or never try to uh, 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 to give an, a, a spark uh, to do some empirical research, or we will never speak about uh, the, the empirical aspects or uh, testing and retesting those theories, those interrelationships that we won't uh, speak. So, uh, the people who are destined to do finance research, uh, they lack they lack the previous knowledge or previous interest to pursue it. But if we give a spark, uh, there can be some interest for the uh, for, for some of the students or who are expected to do research um, in finance. Um, what what I would uh, like to convey here is those who claim that their specialization, uh, the, the, these are the cases familiar to India, even though uh, this may be, uh, sometimes this may be the case with uh, 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 other places also. Uh, what, what I'm telling, uh, uh, with my close experience, I could say that whether, whether while we impart uh, the knowledge in finance in different, uh, um, in different uh, or through different courses, what I'm uh, that is what I mean through different courses in the sense financial management, financial markets, uh, de uh, uh, this derivatives, and so on. Whether you are inculcating an interest in the student just to compute or just to know what exactly part of this theory or whether you are trying to arouse an interest in them uh, to, ex to, to examine these things with financial data, that is a big question. So this lack of interest, even those who, those who have specialized in finance, uh, they claim that, or their certificate for a PG uh, post-graduation may be claiming that he has a, a specialist in finance. But unfortunately, when he goes for uh, uh, research, uh, when he goes with the aim of adding something to the body of knowledge, he would be choosing some other domains uh, in the sense that some other branches uh, not finance uh, to pursue with their research. This is a common case. So, uh, to to a uh, this lack of interest may be on account of many reasons. Okay. So, what I am telling uh, uh, those who have already uh, pursued their research in finance have a uh, have a uh, responsibility uh, to speak to uh, the prospective researchers um, about. Uh, Need, about the need for uh, coming into the finance research so as to uh, so, so as to nourish it to the expected level in in their respective context if it is india or if it is some other nations uh, what i am telling um, the people there are responsible for this then the theories, if you look into, you may, you, you all people may be knowing, um, the, the, the Durand has come up with uh, net income approach, and the same Durand has come up with net operating income approach, which is exactly contradicting to each other. So this contradicting nature of theories, uh, theories are uh, are giving some difficulty for the um, uh, for those uh, for some people to uh, jump into the uh, finance research. So they they are to some ex extent. Um, 
and negatively motivated on account of these contradictions. Uh, there is no meaning in that. Uh, still, uh, uh, these are some of the experience uh, experiences which I could get from uh, some of the researchers. I'm not generalizing the, uh, the, these things. With a reasonable amount of uh, substantiating evidences, I could say that this contradicting nature of TRAs are putting some difficulties on researchers, and they will be looking for a soft, soft zones or safer zones for the for perceiving their research then uh, if if you look into you you, you just take um, the the publications appearing in journal of finance uh, fi journal of, uh, of financial economics and so on it, it is it is very difficult uh, to understand because it is mathematics uh, the, the base in mathematics is essential uh, to do uh, if you have to fruitfully contribute to the domain your your mathematics uh, the skill in mathematics is very very uh, important so this quantitative nature of finance um, uh, nature of finance research uh, brings uh, it is something uh, hardship for uh, many people to uh, come into this um, Finance research. Then data access, uh, data uh, sufficiency. Uh, in terms of sufficiency and efficiency, what I'm telling you, if you want, uh, if you want to examine the price, uh, stock prices, you, what you would be doing, you will be visiting the Yahoo Finance site and the the frequency of the data provided in uh, for the stock market uh, stock market uh, prices. It it is daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly data. But if you visit Bloomberg, second by second, how the prices are moving, you will get. But the people from uh, we people, uh, most of us may not be having entry into those kind of uh, uh, those kind of uh, data. Uh, uh, the providers because it is so costly and uh, none of our institutions um, whether it is a university or some other research institute locally um, they may not be so we do have constraints but now uh, there are many ways to overcome this still the sufficiency and the efficiency uh, most of the people who are doing uh, research and especially corporate um, this corporation finance uh, they would be uh, relying on the prowess of Center for Monitoring Indian Economy, the prowess, the prowess website, where from you could get the details regarding the corporates, uh, uh, the variables relating to corporate undertakings, the profitability, liquidity, uh, the asset size, market size, and so on. So um, there, there also, uh, what exactly the promise is providing? Sometimes the promise may be providing for a particular company from 1995 uh, onwards. For some other company, it may be providing for uh, from 1970 onwards. So you have to limit yourself to the availability of the data from them. And um, uh, uh, can you think of? Uh, uh, some other source other than this promise sometimes you may you, you may be convinced that or you will be convinced that uh, no other uh, no other sources are sometimes available okay so this is what about sufficiency and efficiency it is an issue for finance research the misconception about the finance domain uh, as i said in the previous case somebody is doing something uh, by taking some financial variable uh, um, and it doesn't try to establish a, 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 an interrelationship or relationship between those variables. Mm. And if he claims that it is uh, finance uh, research, it, it is a foolish thing. Uh, it is a foolish thing uh, because you must uh, you, you try to understand what uh, which type of research or, or when uh, what do you do it can be considered as what can be considered as your your research in uh, finance so um, this misconception uh, misconception will, will will enable you or will uh, will lead you to claim that your research um, is in the finance domain but 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 uh, but it may not be like that it may not be like that it is away from uh, the, the the finance research. This uh, this misconception uh, must be must be removed. So uh, lower participation of people in the stock market. If you take um, the case of the U.S., 
uh, US, but uh, nearly 70% uh, of the people have investments uh, in, in the stock market. Um, uh, so if you sample as part of behavioral finance, if you try to sample, uh, make a sample from US, it is it, it is very easy. But in the case of India, less than 3% of the people invest in stock market. And if you take the DMAT account, 75% of the DMAT accounts are uh, dormant uh, or uh, the frequency of tra those the transactions in the DMAT account is, uh, is very high in the sense that uh, once in a while transactions are happening. So uh, these kind of no, uh, uh, this is particularly regarding uh, this uh, stock market, uh, th this is the case. So uh, this, uh, uh, meager involvement of the people in the stock market uh, is a barrier to uh, research with regard to stock market behavior and so on. Then the level of financial literacy the level of financial literacy is is an ingredient or is an indicator of uh, finance research in the sense that lower literacy uh, it, it may hamper the uh, the growth of the research in finance then if i give a roadmap to finance research uh, first i would say uh, everybody uh, in the field of finance is, is, is must try to foster interest in finance research. If you are in the domain of, there is a mistake here, uh, please forgive. If you are, uh, yes, right, research, uh, if your domain is of finance. So that kind of a fostering uh, is essential because um, in my case, even though I am not so, uh, an expert in, uh, in finance, I, I don't have a, such a tall claim. Uh, uh, even though I have been deemed as, uh, I have been uh, na named as professor of finance, still I do believe that I know what I know is bit, is bit. Okay, and what I, I, day by day, minute by minute, what I would be trying, I would be trying to add uh, something more to what, uh, uh, what is known to me. Uh, that is the only possible way because the field is uh, so dynamic, uh, so fast. Mm, okay, uh, globally, globally, yes. So foster interest in finance uh, is the responsibility of everyone uh, who joined here, who deals with uh, the finance field. Then uh, you have to look for when you do the research or when you uh, when when you get uh, it done by some others, including supervisors. What I am uh, intending, uh, you must look for literature at the right place. Where do you research? You call it it's, it's journey from known to unknown. So where do you look for knowing what exactly so far known is very important. So you must look for uh, how many of you, uh, suppose uh, as I uh, raised uh, in between a question, uh, those who have done their uh, research on capital structure theories or capital structure. Okay, uh, uh, have you ever gone through uh, this, uh, this iconic work of uh, Raghuram Rajan? Okay, uh, how many of you have gone through it? Okay, even whether you are you are pursuing research on it or otherwise you are in the domain of finance. How many of you? Okay, how many of, of you have gone through the modern portfolio theory, which has been published in uh, in Journal of Finance? So, where do you look for is uh, very important. You must look at the right place. Okay, what is the right place in terms of quality? I have explained. Okay, in the beginning. So, where it appears. So you must look for you must look for knowing the known. Uh, that is very important. Uh, that is very important. You must look at the right place to for knowing uh, what exactly so far known. Start from there. Then you must uh, if you try to learn theories uh, in terms of uh, phrases, broken words and sentences, short notes. It wouldn't. It will not bite. So you have to learn theories in its essence. It will take time. So how many of you spend time, uh, how many of us uh, spend time for learning theories in its essence is very important. 
so if you uh, at what level of at what level uh, uh, level of knowledge are you are you dealing with if you try to just understand a theory and understanding a theory are you thinking to apply it uh, apply it uh, in the, that is another level higher it and after application you, whether you have a, 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 a criticizing ability that is another level so i am talking about i am talking about when you try to understand a theory in its essence this application level capability this criticizing capability would would automatically be built in you or inculcated in you so learning theories doesn't mean that you read a theory from the top to the bottom no you must develop these uh, uh, these possibilities these possibilities then only it can be considered as learning theories in its essence so improve basic mathematical uh, mathematical skills develop uh, it is uh, self explanatory i am not uh, detailing it develop awareness on econometrics that is very important because none of the research paper in finances uh, is coming up with economic estimations uh, therefore uh, it is very important this um, uh, at friend or at the beginning stage you you may feel some difficulty with regard to but when you when you start learning it would be very very interesting then uh, you have to uh, if i say what is important is you have to target uh, the good financial economic journals uh, financial economics journals for dissemination of your result remember if you have to choose the right to choose a financial economics journal to the tune of uh, at least to the tune of a b rated journal you have to have uh, a, a research deliberation of that kind which has a strong theory food with empirical evidences otherwise it would not bite yes so uh, what uh, there is a tendency uh, which i have noticed um, and also some experts we have shared uh, this uh, we, uh, this uh, those who are pursuing research in finance they will take some uh, some uh, some articles uh, with, uh, some articles from some journals mm -hmm. the the study uh, might have been done in um, the us or european con western context it has been done and they will try to replicate that study as such uh, in, in an asian context or in the indian context i don't think uh, it is not as i said um, in, in in the previous point uh, if you take uh, the, the the us you can see uh, nearly 60 to 70% of the people have been in the stock investment they are investing in stock market but in the case of india meager percentage so a study with uh, with uh, a design which is suitable for a context like us and europe you you don't try to replicate that study as such uh, in the indian context so you have to suitably uh, modify it you you have to think about whether that context uh, is relevant here and without uh, without verifying those things if you try to replicate that study in the indian context that would be uh, that would be uh, something uh, something uh, an exercise uh, but not a relevant a uh, fruitful exercise which could contribute to the domain of finance so you are major hello 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 sir your, your voice is breaking hello sandur sir
संदोष सर ठीक है चलिए अबाउट हेलो हेलो या सर इट वाज ब्रेकिंग लास्ट रिपीट द सेम ई स्लाइड में लाना ए स्लाइड में ला दिस वन दिस वन सर दिस वन या या दिस वन ओके या 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 so uh, so uh, finance research it test theories or some relationship as i said a relationship between the common sense variable you have chosen for your research can you hear can you hear yes sir yes sir perfect Hello. perfect yeah 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 perfect. so uh, so yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah uh, so so using i'm concluding i'm concluding uh, so using econometric models you will be estimating um, the, the relationship uh, among the variables so that you will you will confirm the the, the theory or you will be uh, falsifying the theory and uh, uh, this is what uh, in the case of common sense relationship and you have estimated using econometric variables you have to give a back where you have to relate those uh, those relationship with the existing theories available uh, this is what is uh, the backward linkage to be provided by the researcher otherwise how the outcome can be meaningful um, it 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 is a doubtful affair i would say so uh, this is the, the the takeaway for you uh, the finance research for testing theories or testing some relationship using econometric models confirming or falsifying the existing theory. theory or providing a backward linkage to the theory so th this is uh, all about uh, uh, my my words for this uh, road map to finance research so these are my uh, recent uh, research in finance one is, is ethereum ethereum is a uh, is a cryptocurrency better explained by bitcoin and ripple prices an ecm approach on the covid 19 episode price data which is which is uh, accepted for publication uh, means pending for publication accepted uh, for publication in an interscience journal another one is cryptocurrencies and market efficiency which is published in artha vidyana which is a ugc careless journal and another one capital structure all are in 2021 capital structure asset structure and profitability of rural women micro enterprises in journal of rural development of nirb it is a focus focus in that so uh, with the, with this uh, let me close my uh, speech on this Uh, so now you can uh, put your uh, place your questions in the chat box or you can raise your qu queries i'll try to answer your queries so participants uh, can sir unmute your mic is it okay yes, okay sir participants can unmute your mic and ask questions right now or put it in the chat box So we have one question in the chat box already. Yeah, can you repeat that question? Otherwise, yeah. Okay, sir. Yeah, I will. Uh, ah. Sir, uh, okay, sir, there is a question for you from Kartika, and the question is regarding your mentioning about the importance given for the theories for further research. So, what is your stand on certain theories yeah. which become obsolete after a particular period of time? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it is uh, i have told you that theories are for uh, when you come up with a theory or any scientific research when you come up something is to be considered as a scientific one if it admits the possibility of falsification so false uh, if if a piece of knowledge is not admitting the possibility of uh, this falsification it is it cannot be considered as a, a scientific knowledge this is uh, this is one of the uh, one of the tests applied for distinguishing a scientific knowledge and uh, an unscientific knowledge so the theory is put forth by by um, um, researchers over a time it is meant for falsification or refutation 
when it is refuted with with significant amount of evidence it becomes obsolete that is quite natural this is um, this is how a domain or a branch of knowledge is uh, okay there was a time you know there was a time uh, the large majority of people i don't claim that it is scientific evidence large majority of the people were believing that smallpox is caused by uh, the, uh, the the wrath of goddess okay uh, but later uh, with scientific evidence it is an infection it has been brought in i'm not saying that the previous one was scientific knowledge like that with some form of evidences because it is based on probability you will be putting uh, bringing up something okay scientific knowledge is is brought in uh, in uh, in terms of probability so it admits the probability of falsification also so theories may sometimes die over time that is quite natural yes hello yeah did, did you did you hear did you hear that question yes sir somebody yes, yes, is trying please. to ask somebody is trying to ask questions yeah so so what do you see now the slide last slide or what do you see now please place your questions in Hello? the chat box yeah 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 okay okay no problem no problem uh, some 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 issues were there with my computer that's why i asked okay so next question sir please uh, sir yes sir, you can hear okay uh, with regard to this particular question Uh, theories like theory of yeah. planned behavior some journals are not accepting if we are mm. doing a paper on this particular theory mm. and the reason they are saying is yeah. uh, many papers have been done in this particular theory so you have to try a, another yeah. one uh, so uh, but uh, yeah. if I okay theory of uh, okay the yeah uh, yeah yeah okay continue please continue But I finish your question please every uh, every time some theories are always relevant because especially with regard to mm. behavior or attitudes planned behavior are always relevant but mm. still some journals won't accept certain theories only because of the reason that it is overused so in that sense i have yeah a... it is overused yeah yeah that is quite natural that is quite natural simply repeating and repeating Uh, because research what do, why do you do research because you have to bring uh, some uh, something new okay even though theories must must admit to the possibility of falsification over and over, over time when a sizable number of uh, efforts have been made by researchers then again doing that you can do no problem but it is up to the publishing platform to decide whether uh, their publication platform be used for this repeated publication or they would uh, they, they, they must go for uh, something new because it, it, it depends on the supply um, when when uh, the, the new knowledge supply is more with regard to this one uh, you are, if you are repeating uh, which have just been repeated by 10000 people yes definitely the platform has it doesn't mean that your research was uh, not meaningful no the research is meaningful but whether that it is acceptable to that platform what is what is their criteria they would be they would always be trying to uh, uh, trying to push up the rank of their journal in which way a journal i'll tell you one i'll tell you one example uh, during uh, this march this 2021 march okay i can tell you one of the top journals in in the medical field uh, okay uh, the publisher was emerald okay the article was accepted uh, sorry the article received um, today uh, an article received today it is accepted for publication uh, on the day itself and that that publication uh, the, the content was made public within 7 days can you think uh, can you imagine a, a, a research work 
which is sent to a publication platform, uh, which is a world-renowned one, get it reviewed and accepted on the day itself, and it is get published in a top rated journal within seven days. You think about the possibility. You think, I'll tell you one, one of my research scholars sent an article on this market efficiency of Bitcoin to finance India. The paper got published uh, in the last uh, or two months back. Uh, you know why, when it is going to be published, it is going to be published in 2024 March. It is lined up for publication. You think about, I'll tell you what exactly the research was. The research was the COVID uh, virus, the COVID-19 virus, how long time will it su su survive in a, in a surface, suppose metal or cloth or in a painted wall or in a plastic body? Uh, how much time will this corona 19 virus would uh, covid 19 virus would uh, would uh, would be alive on different it, it it was a new knowledge nobody so far know it okay it was a good piece of work that is why it has been got with uh, the procedure was right the peer review was over within us and uh, within no time the article get published and it is made public for, for uh, reading within a short span of time so this is what is uh, uh, when i when i teach research problem i used to quote this example because a research problem should be uh, I should be like that, li like this. Okay, hello. So it is quite natural. Suppose if you take efficient market hypothesis, I have told you it has direct citation for that 1970 work, 33,000 something. Okay, what does it mean? What does it mean? Uh, okay, large number of books have, have, uh, have been done by different researchers on efficient uh, testing the market efficiency at least weak form of efficiency or uh, some other form of efficiency what does it mean again the, the publication platform of uh, a platform which is of, of uh, a renowned one which uh, looks for new knowledge sometimes may not accept it okay yes hello yes sir yes sir there is another question. Yeah. Uh, read it out. Uh, yeah. So there is another question. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So there is a question from Prasida that uh, what would be the advantage of testing the theories and models that are based on some rigid assumptions which are not suitable according to the ongoing situation? Hmm. Okay. Okay. All these theories. Uh, all the theories, uh, theories, you don't feel that. What is, uh, I have, in between, I have told you, the tested relationships available in the existing body of knowledge is called a theory. It doesn't mean that, uh, it, it doesn't mean that uh, it is uh, something labeled uh, as theory. What I am trying, uh, trying to convince you, uh, a theory, uh, as you said, uh, maybe over time the assumptions you take care of you may be uh, targeting this capital structure theories which has no tax assumption and so on okay that is a base for establishing the relationship in which way you model to capture those relationships for example, uh, when you try to identify the determinants of capital structure, you will be you will be incorporating uh, all all those variables to the maximum possible uh, from the available literature. Available literature means uh, the, the the theory plus the empirical evidences emerged over time. Over time, that would also be net addition to the theory. Okay, that would also be taken care of. So it doesn't mean that the theories are over time uh, falsified. It does. It, it means that you have to take uh, those, those falsification also into consideration while you proceed with your study. You you have to you have to update the field, and with that updation from that updated version of the body of knowledge, you must start from. That is what I meant. 
theory base means strong literature base. That that is that is that uh, that is a correct explanation for it. Hello, are you satisfied? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you, sir. Hello. So we have another. There question. Is one, yeah, there is another question. Yeah. yeah. I so the question is, question. if somebody intend to study the challenges and potentials, yeah. Hello, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I can hear. Sir, am I audible? Okay. Uh, so the question goes like this: If somebody intend to study the challenges and potential of some policy reforms after complete after the completion of the study, the scholar may submit the thesis. But due to the university procedures, it will take more than one year for the completion of the valuation and open defense. So what to do if the reported challenges and benefits are obsolete at the time of public viva wars? Will the thesis become obsolete? Oh, I, I think this is a question uh, which is, uh, I think this is a question towards the system uh, which is in existence. I think uh, this platform uh, is not uh, a relevant one uh, to answer this question. I do understand uh, the the uh, the strong sense of uh, uh, reporting of uh, the negligence in the system, uh, but I don't uh, wish to reply for this, sir. Isn't it? Uh, right, sir. Right, sir. Yeah, right, sir. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. May I ask? May I ask a question, sir? Yeah. Yes. Sure, sir. So thank, thank you, sir. Good evening, sir. It's a wonderful session. A uh, lot of uh, okay, uh, questions have been answered uh, by your uh, session, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. I'm uh, yeah. uh, trying to uh, uh, let, uh, understand a few uh, two important questions. Uh, the yeah. very first one is uh, how do we map, map a particular theory with an existing phenomena in a few, in a research yeah. in a finance research especially. And the second <laughs> question is, while I was attending some workshops on uh, econometric one, tools, yeah, uh, the the expert usually told that uh, first of all look at the data and, and then go with the research. So now my question is, should the data come first, followed by the theory, or theory followed by the data in finance research? And if okay. you follow the theory, the variables used in Western context might not be available in uh, another context like India. So yeah. how do we address yeah. these two problems? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so first of all, uh, in, in your first question, uh, I didn't understand what exactly mapping, right? You used a term mapping, right, sir? Hello? Sir? Uh, first question I didn't get. How do mapping. I map a particular theory with an existing phenomena in finance research? Say, for example, yes. sir, uh, uh, the stock markets are uh, becoming more volatile and they're behaving yeah. in uh, yeah. in in uh, asymmetric manner. So I thought yeah. I should understand uh, there are different theories that are coming in the stock markets, yeah. like arbitrage pricing theory, Markowitz uh, Mark, Mark yeah. theory like that. So how do yeah. I know this particular theory fits to this particular phenomena? Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, uh, my, my answer to this question is, uh, as I said, when you choose an area uh, for your research, so uh, it, it is uh, in all, including yourself, myself, and all other teachers who are uh, uh, talking about research will say that it is a journey from, uh, it, it, it is a very local uh, uh, explanation. It is journey from known to unknown. So what you have to do, uh, you have to uh, understand all these theories. You have to uh, learn. That is what I have, uh, I have given as one of the points in the roadmap to finance research. Uh, learning the theories in its essence will give a hand for you uh, in, in finance. Uh, simply, simply, if you have a certificate uh, led uh, led uh, specialization in finance, but that may not be enough. So, uh, understanding the theory, theory, just reading is uh, not uh, not uh, not enough. So, uh, how do you understand a theory in essence? 
and then you try to then you try to re-examine or, or, or validate it with the data available. That is what is the, the you have to do. This is my answer to your first question. The second question is data first or uh, what is that tools first? Uh, data first or uh, theory? Theory first. Yeah, uh, data. Uh, it is uh, normally. Uh, if you if you want, uh, this is a practice among uh, among the, uh, the, those who are uh, those who are providing a professional service uh, to the researchers. Uh, they will uh, they will uh, the, there is a kind of a, a, this is not possible with good quality publications because you have to supply the data with source of data to them. But in in, in in some cases, people are doing. Uh, they will manipulate, especially in the case of primary data, uh, to get some uh, get the desired result. There, there can be some form of manipulations. But in the case of finance research, it is not possible because, to a larger extent, the finance research is happening with the help of. I mean, happening using, not with the help of, but happening using uh, secondary data. So uh, I have. Uh, I have asked uh, a similar question to one of the experts who uh, who are in economic uh, who are into econometrics. What I did ask: a multicollinearity issue. When you when you load your um, econometrics, uh, I mean uh, your econometric model with more number of variables, there can be an issue. There can be an issue which we call it multicollinearity. Right? Hello. And yes, sir. Yes, sir. High, high correlation among uh, the, the independent variables. High correlation among the independent variables. The right side of the equation. They are uh, highly correlated. If two independent variables are highly correlated, and if the co co correlation is supposed to be 0.99. Um, what does it mean exactly uh, the point uh, if two variables are highly co uh, correlated uh, it means exactly that variable is same okay but but uh, the, the explanation given by that expert was it, it is a will of the good the data is like that okay you cannot cook the data for this so data first or theory first means you are trying to uh, from theory you are moving with data to bring something that is the order from theory theory means existing body using data you try to bring something that is the order i would say uh, yeah in that scenario sir if we go with the theory and the data the theory was yeah. also proposed and tested in a western world and that yeah, sort of data yeah. are rele relevant to the particular variable might not be available in Indian context, for example. So how can we address yeah. this problem? Yeah. Okay, that is what I said in, in my last or, last or last but one slide, uh, because uh, you, uh, you think about uh, uh, if you try to uh, test uh, some relationship which is worthwhile in a context uh, and try to test in a context which is not worthwhile. Uh, the, the, the result, there may be some uh, there may be some results from that. The question, the fundamental question, is not about testing the tool and something. Whether it is appropriate for testing, whether the context is appropriate for testing that relationship. That is what I am trying to convince, convince you whether the context is appropriate in which way you justify that that relationship be tested here that is what is the crux of the point thank you sir thank you very much sir yeah it's a good learning from you sir thank you very much thank you thank you so shall i stop if we if uh, if participants don't have a question, then we can stop. Anybody have questions? Am I audible? Yes. Yeah. So, yes, I'm audible. Say, yeah. So, uh, before the formal uh, formal thanks, uh, I would say that it was a highly intellectual question. Uh, which comes out from Professor Sandosh Kumar, sir. Uh, 
it was the lecture was started from the philosophy of finance research and the lecture uh, uh, really a motivation uh, to the scholars who are in the area of finance research and actually uh, we are witnessing uh, scholars uh, and the topic and title reflecting finance finance area but uh, 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 actually uh, they do it with the help of a cross session design so that is a real problem uh, which uh, we are witnessing right now so so many finance titles and topics are, are doing by the research scholars but their methodology is not uh, econometrics model or economic model they are following some cross session design and finally they submit the thesis this is a very very bad condition of uh, research so far and there is uh, the professor rightly said that there is a debate over what 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 is to be said as a finance research so finance research should be uh, 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 in the relation between two variables that should be taken account uh, uh, to be treated as a financial research and the professor explained uh, the there's importance or uh, the more citation which comes out of uh, from finance uh, areas uh, uh, journals so uh, we should focus on the publication of more papers in financial journals and we had a discussion on over research and under research topics and we had a discussion on the theories and obsolescence of theories and the contradiction of theories and conflict of theories etc so really uh, it was a wonderful and highly uh, high booster for uh, financial research scholars so on behalf of the department of commerce and on behalf of the entire participants i extend my sincere thanks to professor sandosh kumar to start okay sir so, oh, thank you thank you thank you very much thank you very much thanks to the participants for the patient listening yes. thank you okay. yeah. bagodi bagodi It was fully a fully a blessing, but fully doctor seen doctor out and had some work with us. Though we had some technical issues, full seen there was never a problem. But I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to you, sir. Thank you. Ah uh, yes, sir. Uh, the voice was uh, breaking, so uh, yeah, yeah. it was. Shall I? Shall I leave? Sir, the voice was breaking. Yeah. Yeah. Shall I leave? Yeah. Ah, uh, thank yes, you, sir. sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Good night. Good night. Good night.